1705 RD. That's a rear dinette little Winnebago Micro Mini here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Love it. This is a fantastic little um, either couples or maybe just single person run around getaway camper. Little coaches like this are really nice for like national park type camping because man, you can just pull them anywhere. It's small, it's light, it's just a titch over 3,000 pounds. Um, if at any point you're curious to learn more about it or uh, you'd like to check out like price tags or tank capacities, right down in the video description down here, there, I leave you a link for the video or uh, to the uh, website rather where we have. If we have it in stock, I have it listed. You'll see the one we have in stock because this video, chances are, the one we have in stock looks different from this. Winnebago has seven different exterior colors. So, if the fire engine cherry blossom red is not your color, don't even worry about it. We've got other ones in stock. We usually keep these in like red, blue, platinum, yellow, a couple different colors. Um, you know, we, we try to have a nice variance of our Winnebagos. They are, uh, uh, a very sharp coach and that's what I like to hit on these videos is why would you choose this one from our dealership? There's so many options out there. What is it about this one that that should stick out from the crowd for you? That's what I want to hit on because this floor plan is not unique. I have this floor plan from two other manufacturers and they're good in their own right. So what is it about this one that sticks out? That's what I want to touch on. First of all, immediately, I mean we got to address this. I kind of talked about the different colors, but it's not just the color. It's the quality we're looking at here. This is a true gel coat. This is a diesel pusher skin on a little miniature narrow body uh, travel trailer. There is no one else in the market using this grade of glass on a product like this. Actually, you have to go up into some pretty hefty fifth wheel stuff to get that grade of glass. Winnebago has one fiberglass supplier. They, th that's an absolute, like it's, it's about three tiers above what you normally get for fiberglass in this class. Secondly, this is equipped just like all the other micro minis which I like. We've got a nice power awning with LED lighting under the base. If I can get the camera up there you can kind of see a little bit of that glaring reflection. Uh, you know, uh, all windows are tinted for ventilation, all windows open, and I'm at a bad angle for lighting here, but you can see how big like the front bedroom pass-through windows are. Huge, huge light inside this, and we'll see that bright interior when we get inside in just a minute. Um, you know, lighter interiors plus big windows makes for a very big feeling camper, even in a small package, and look at the front storage. Now that big box you're looking at right there, that's a double propane tank kit that goes on the tongue. Um, I shoved that over there just to show you how big it is down there. That it, It's still dwarfed by everything. And look at the little detail stuff like the battery disconnect switch right there. So that uh, when you have this thing stored away, the batteries aren't getting trickle drawn by all the little appliances and things. We'll come back to the uh, front side in a minute. Let's keep rolling through here. Um, she's a little bit narrow body. A quote, standard body trailer is eight foot wide. This is seven and a half, often referred to as just a seven wide, when in reality it's seven six. Um, that's pretty standard across the industry. We just call them seven or eight wides, even though the sevens are usually seven and a half. Little side note for you. Um, why does that matter? Well, that means that this is not wider than a normal vehicle. Um, the uh, like a minivan, you know, say a minivan, uh, it's not wider than that, or like a tow package SUV. It's easier to see around. It's easier to park. You get less headwinds from uh, you know slip streaming down the road behind a, uh, a semi truck or something like that, or getting passed with a, a head breeze. It will just tow smoother and easier. Let's talk chassis. Uh, this is on a different kind of chassis. It's not a normal I-beam. It's actually a Z chassis. It's built like an aircraft chassis. And looking at it here, it might not seem remarkable, but it is both lighter yet stronger than traditional I-beam frames. Not less expensive though. It's, but if you want a good house, you start with a good foundation, right? Well, what I have noticed is there's nothing wrong with I-beam chassis, but the campers that ride on this aircraft style chassis, the NXG frame from Bell, they are uh, among the highest, if not the highest uh, rated in terms of service records here at our store. There are some others that do just fine. It's more than just the chassis. A lot of personal craftsmanship on a brand to brand basis matters as well. Little campers like this usually only get single propane tanks. That's something else that I like. Uh, this does have that double tank system. Um, and that's standard. This is a standard loadout. That we didn't dress this thing up. This is how it's equipped. The stuff that is optional and more money on other brands is every single day at Winnebago. They just they they build it the way you're gonna want it every time. 
I also like the real convenient centralized hookup center. And look at this, on a little camper they have split cable inputs. Satellite and park cable are both on separate hookups, which is crazy. Um, a lot of fifth wheels don't have that. Plus you have uh, the black tank flush and outside shower and all that good stuff there. Just striking aluminum wheel package with, if you look detail close here, uh, above these radials you have a nice galvanized steel wheel well. It's a blowout protection guard. Um, and the, the, man, the graphics package. They have done a nice job dressing this girl up. Little campers like this don't usually get ladders. Um, some, not a lot, but some single axle mini campers like this do not have anything close to a walk-on roof not even what i'd call a service roof they have a stay off it roof um that's not the case here you also notice up top the same full-size air conditioner as any other big winnebago um they've just they they've attacked every attention to detail item possible here uh backing up a step here what i like is under the rear dinette you've got that additional outside storage and little campers usually suffer from a defect called little storage i'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this has fifth wheel level storage and insult you but for a little camper it does pretty good outside tv hookups right here as well they laminate into the wall an aluminum backer plate so if you want to screw in an outside mount you can we can do that stuff for you too no big deal bigger handle on a little camper it's just nice it's just nice to have this on here by the way if you're ever looking at one of our trailers and it doesn't have that this is like an 18 dollar fix that's that's a that's a small part to add on to a camper for someone strutted door so it doesn't slam open in the wind because if the wind catches this and it hits this awning and buckles the awning arm sideways if the awning's out she's toast this prevents that from happening that little bitty strut right there just saved you from a lot of potential um you know repair costs because awning stuff not cheap now right away when you walk in you're like oh wow wow the cabinets look a lot different from the normal rv cabinets out there that, and that's one of the biggest things we like about our winnebago's bright light interior this off white bonish color right here it really brightens up this little camper plus the big windows we'll see in a minute this little thing looks big and remember if you like everything except those cushions chances are the one we have in stock might have different cushions um i believe that's the stone decor but uh, i'm still learning my they, they recently changed the decor names and i'm relearning that right when you walk in the door i love this closet well first of all little campers don't usually have closets this is nice. You've got a place like hang a coat or some shirts right by the door. All your cabinetry, by the way, is pocket screwed. You can reach your finger back here and you can actually feel where the, the cabinets are screwed together and not stapled. And a nice cabinet above the bed like this is an excellent thing. Uh, again, storage, no such thing as too much storage in little campers. Big crossbreeze windows, both windows obviously, as I've kind of insinuated with that phrasing, open for ventilation. And we have nice, um, pleated shades on everything too i love the 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 front bed lifts right up easily by the way for storage i don't know what it is i don't know if it's a lighter color but it just feels so much bigger and more open here than the other versions of this floor plan we have from other brands i really like this here's another thing i like carpetless super easy to clean and that's like the perfect little area to stuff some shoes that little alcove right there but you can sweep it out swiffer it up and the floor will be so clean, it's almost like slippery. My wife did that one day. She cleaned the kitchen floor, and I'm in my socks, and I, I took a spill because it, it was slick. So you open the door, and right next to it, bang, we've got our bathroom. Um, you know, I, I really, really like having this bathroom right here, close to the entry door, where it's an easy access point. Um, you know, a, a rear bathroom is a very popular single axle uh, couples camper. I, I, I like that they went with the middle bath here because it gives separation to both front and rear areas. And notice that's a shower, not a tub. It's just nice little detail stuff like that that I like. So the big rear dinette, this is obviously the business end of the trailer with just windows, windows, windows. Um, lots of light, lots of airflow. You know, your air conditioner's right back here. Your furnace is right up uh, by your, your bed. So if you are gonna do some um, cold weather camping in this, don't, this is not a four seasons four seasons i hate that phrase but that's the phrase that everyone knows not a four seasons camper but if you're going to use it for hunting camp and you're not going to run water in it she's going to do just fine because that furnace is right up next to you plus it's a it's a big furnace for a small camper so there's storage below this the whole thing folds down into a bed we've got outlets to run appliances and things bonus storage space now most little campers have the entertainment center here they made it a little different and Sometimes a little different is a nice thing. I don't know that this is a superior layout to anything else, 
But I, I do I do like this. There's a very nice organic quality to it. And I think it's because this side of the dinette with that open bench, this will tend to be, I think, where you sit more often. So sitting here, that's a more organic position for this. Not to mention the fact that they went all out on their TV hardware there. That is incredible. A big double jointed arm. Same DVD Bluetooth play in stereo they have in their big fifth wheels and stuff. Inside, outside speakers, all controlled right here. That's a... Uh, I like Jensen stuff. Jensen is, is pretty good stuff. Um, spinning around. Uh, this is, like I said, this is where most brands would have their entertainment center. It does make sense to me. Uh, my camera light's blinking at me here, but we're just about done. So hopefully it doesn't cut out on me. Uh, pretty common middle kitchen, although... They did a darn good job of giving you some really generous uh, cabinet space there. And uh, a nice chunk of countertop. You don't, I mean, I'm not going to say that, wow, that's a lot of countertop. But in a little camper like this, any prep space is better than none. And that's part of the reason, as a standard issue, they include that sink cover there. Just to give you more functional space. High output burner, low output burner. So if you're doing some cooking inside. And they do leave you a spot back here um, for like uh, coffee makers and stuff. And there is an, appl uh, an appliance set of plugs nearby that as well. Um, actually, I think we cooked it. I think we're good. Give us a call if uh, you're curious. Pieces, parts, hitching, financing, trades. You want this RV delivered to your front door. Uh, you want a quote for anything. You're curious to see what else we have in stock. Just give us a call. We, we I mean... God forbid we get to speak to a living, breathing person every now and then. I don't mind emailing folks, but, you know, I, I like to talk to you, too. So, take care, stay safe, have fun, and uh, happy camping, everyone. Take care.